Savile Row, for 170 years, it's meant quality, tradition, and it's been very, very male. But not anymore. Thank you very much. The name's up there. Savile Row. Good feeling? Yes, a very good feeling. I'm the first female master craftsman to have a business on Savile Row, and the first woman to have their own name above the door. So yes, I think that's quite something. So here's your jacket, sir. Thank you. Catherine Sargent learned her skills on Savile Row. Born in Leeds the day she first visited London's home of tailoring, it changed her life. All the tailors looked like you know, clubs almost, and they had beautiful uniforms and garments in the window. So I was determined that, and I thought this is where I would like, like to work. Introducing the best dressed street in the world. Savile Row was founded here by the first and most famous tailor of them all, Mr. Henry Poole. So now Henry Poole has a new female neighbor, and Chief Cutter Philip Parker remembers her well. She came here for a job in the 90s. She was the one female amongst a number of young men. And, she didn't uh, stand a chance? No. <laughs> I did try, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. But things have really changed. Many more women now. Yes, absolutely. So, perseverance paid off. And while Catherine Sargent is the first on the row, others will follow. 65% of new trainees are women. What used to be a men-only world is changing fast. David Solito, BBC News, Savile Row.